Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Chaim Colin. Uh, not the key speaker for today. I'm one of the residents from the Department of Nurse Surgery. I'm a fourth year resident and um, coming here hopefully to tell you a little bit about neurosurgery, ask maybe even some questions why you're interested in neurosurgery, and um, try to answer whatever questions you may have on neurosurgery, why you should perhaps do such a specialty, and things of such. Um, again, our Department of Neurosurgery here at Wayne State started about 30 years ago. And this was developed by a gentleman who originally was from Smyrna. Um, he, that's Syria. Um, he started the department uh, together with um, several other collaborators. Most of them were general surgeons, not neurosurgeons. Um, his specialty was mostly trauma, so he used to specialize in neurotrauma. Um, subsequently, the head of the department after he retired was um, someone who maybe actually interviewed some of you here today, Murray Thomas, Dr. Murray Thomas. I don't know. Does anyone know him? No? He was the next chair of our department. And subsequent to that was Dr. Fernando Diaz, and today's chair is Dr. Morali Guthikanda. Um, what about specialties in neurosurgery? So neurosurgery, a lot of people think, well, maybe trauma, gunshot wounds to the head. Um, well, yes, we see that at receiving hospital. We see that quite often, actually. Um, but at the same time, 80 to 90 percent of today's neurosurgery revolves around back surgeries. So it's a lot of spine surgery. Um, there's a little trauma and it keeps decreasing as society gets better. That's usually what we hope for. Um, you also have <clears throat> brain tumors. It's such a large area of neurosurgery and so that that would be neuro-oncology. You also have Vascular surgery, so vascular surgery within neurosurgery, AVMs, I'm sure you might have studied a little bit on AVMs, arteriovenous malformations, right, brain aneurysms. And today, it's becoming even more specialized where you're doing neuroendovascular neurosurgery, where you are not even opening up the brain, but coming up from the groin with a little tiny coil and you're coiling an aneurysm inside the head, you're embolizing AVMs inside the, in the, in the brain. And so it's, everything is trying to be less and less invasive, meaning you don't do the huge cranies that before used to be accomplished. Um, other areas, functional. So functional neurosurgery. That usually involves people that can have peripheral nerve lesions. Um, you can also have epilepsy. It's in people that have intractable epilepsy. One of the treatments for those types of patients can be surgery where you do lobectomies. I know a lot of people here probably have heard of let's do a lobotomy on that individual if he's, you know, a jerk. But, you know, um, so lobectomies are still performed quite often after you, you, you have a neurologist assess the patient and uh, an EEG can actually define there's a lesion in a particular area. So usually that patient will go for surgery. Um, other areas in neurosurgery. So robotics. That's uh, something that's up and coming now. Um, basically it revolves around the use of computers to analyze certain areas of the brain both perfusion areas of the brain, and it does. It, it involves a lot of planning prior to surgery, and basically, it's the use of computers in, in a simple, simple way. Um, it's integrating multiple modalities of vascular, of anatomy inside, and you create a picture, a 3D model of what the brain looks like before you actually go inside. So you can, you can plan ahead and you can say, well, maybe there's a vascular structure here, maybe there's um, an, a very eloquent area of the brain, in other words, high real estate, something that you don't want to damage in this area, 
and so on and so forth. Um, why did I do neurosurgery? That might be a huge question. Or why should you do neurosurgery? So does anyone have an interest of why they want to do neurosurgery? No, maybe. I'll tell you, should I tell you why I decided? Go ahead. Where where are are you first year, second year? First year. So so you're all fresh out of the uh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, no. So um, I, I'll tell you, I love neuroscience. And it's a little bit more than neuroscience because for that we can do a PhD. And in our program, we also had to do a PhD before. I'm actually one of the last persons who completed a PhD in my program. Um, most people around the country who do neurosurgery do not do PhD. Our program had to do a PhD. So I just finished that last year, and I did it in neuro-oncology. But neuroscience itself is a lovely thing. It's something that actually helps you to think. Your brain helps you to think. It helps you to analyze medicine. And combining that with the challenge created in actually touching the brain or manipulating this thinking entity really brought me to an idea of what I wanted to do in life. And I'll tell you, it's a challenge. And every day, it's learning. And um, my wife's actually sitting in the back of the room. And so it's interesting because how much time you spend away from your family? A lot. It's a lot. And you really don't get to see your family that often. And so that's one of the downsides in neurosurgery. So your, your hours and hours in the operating room, you can get called in. I just got called half an hour before this to come over and talk to you. I didn't even know what to say. I was like, what? <laughs> but you know, if there's something that has to be done, you go and you do it. And um, I, I would always challenge whoever I have met who wants to do, from a medical student, who wants to do neurosurgery and say, why do you want to do neurosurgery? And I've always been very welcome. I actually set up journal clubs. And you are more than welcome, whoever would like to join in a journal club. Basically, what we do is we hand out articles. It's very informal. We have dinner. And for like two or three minutes, we talk about a particular journal. And you can meet some of the faculty that we have. They can meet you. Um, you can maybe even come to a surgery if you're interested. And you can kind of get a feel of what neurosurgery is about and how it is, at least at Wayne State. Um, around the country, I can tell you there's large programs, large meaning there's like two to three residents a year. And this is basically a moderate sized program, one a year. There are some programs that have one every other year. It's very difficult to get into neurosurgery. There's only like, I, I'm not very sure, but there's like 90 programs and there's like about 140 spots a year. So it's very difficult. But if you are very interested and you know, you're, you're interested in neuroscience, you're interested in the challenge in life, so I would say more than welcome and come and join in neurosurgery. Um, there are several people in the department, in our department, that would be key to assisting you in trying to develop a career in neurosurgery. One of them is our chair, Dr. Morali Guthikanda. Um, he is a skull-based surgeon. Um, and you can probably try to go into a surgery with him with a little knowledge of what surgery you're going to be going into. And he would be more than happy to show you what he does and, and try to guide you. Another person would be Dr. Um, Rangacheri. Dr. Seti Rangacheri, he's very famous. He's written multiple textbook, textbooks that have been sold worldwide.